Hello, today we're going to be looking at Dali 2's in painting or editing feature. I'm going to start by uploading an image. I've chosen the scenic view of a car. Dali 2 only outputs as well as receives this square crop image as input. I'm going to go ahead and click edit image. We have to select something with the brush. We can't just edit, enter a description and it will change it for us. So in this case, the brush size I have uh, selected by default is just the, the middle size. So I'm going to go ahead and click in the middle here and I'm going to give it the description of what I actually want. Let's change it to a photo of a car in front of a secret scenic background with a moon. And there you go. It's looking at, it's generated about uh, one, two, three, four, nine different options for us to choose from with the moon added, which is cool because this, because this is a photo that took place during the day. I'll, so you guys could take a closer look. This is awesome. Um, now here's where things get a little bit tricky. So this is of course a working demonstration. Um, you remember earlier when I just brushed the top right, it was a basic circle. Now, if I change this to a yellow sun, let's see what it does. Okay, now we're looking at our results and keep in mind, it takes about 10 to 20 seconds to generate these edits, just like how it takes 10 to 20 seconds to generate a new image based on a prompt. In this case, no change whatsoever for the first row in this, in the second row, same deal, no change. I don't know what it's doing with these. It almost, it put a car and a yellow sun here. Same with here, it, it gave almost a scenic background with a car in the shape of a sun, uh, even though it, uh, you know, we were just looking for the sun, uh, which is kind of actually a funny result. Um, and so now I'll be sharing troubleshooting technique number one. So. I was told by adjusting the brush size, uh, maybe selecting a smaller surface area or selecting a bigger one, uh, that can help when you're troubleshooting in painting. So if I had made it a smaller circle or a bigger one, maybe that would have helped. Another thing I'm thinking is maybe the, the shadow is on this side, so maybe the sun needs to be over here. Um, so anyways, that's troubleshooting technique number one. I'm, I'm not gonna be demonstrating it out of the interest of time, but Again, this is sort of some of the limitations I'm seeing of Dali 2's editing functionality. This is, of course, the research demo. I'm looking at an early version, so perhaps this will improve. Maybe things will change. Um, but I just wanted to share that, yeah, this is a limitation that, that I'm observing. And it could also be that I'm still learning. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. Now we're going to be looking at adding a yellow electric guitar. So let me go ahead and upload an image. Okay, so this is the mixed media asset set, which was actually generated by Dali 2. I used this in my last video, I hope you remember. So now I'm going to be replacing this globe and we're going to replace this with an electric guitar. I'm going to brush over it. I'm going to do the in painting and it will swap it out with, an, with a yellow electric guitar. If we make a mistake at any time, we can click undo and I believe even control Z works. Okay, so the original prompt for this was mixed media asset set. I think it was something like that. Now, normally uh, they recommend so the recommend describing the whole image and Dali will basically generate the editing feature will basically generate the difference between what it originally got and the area that we've brushed out. So it would put in ideally the yellow guitar here. I've noticed sometimes that doesn't work. And so one other troubleshooting technique I discovered is just putting in the keyword of, of what you want. And for in this case, I found it was more reliable just putting in yellow guitar instead of the whole description. I'll show you it. I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Um, so you can you can see that it, it did work. Uh, if I change it to yellow electric guitar, maybe we'll get something, you know, even more bold. Okay, so these options are a little bit better. Uh, you got uh, this one I like this one I like. 
and this one. And of course, we can regenerate and try again if we're not happy with any of these. I do like that for the most part, the style of, of, of some of these matches, like this one matches more closely with the surrounding image. Um, and so it is, it is really handy to be able to edit images on the fly in the, in the style that the rest of the image is in. Uh, we can also use Dali 2 not just to insert or replace objects, but also to replace the entire background. So I'm going to be showing that to you right now. Okay, so this is our image. I'm now going to start replacing the background. Okay, so you can see I've now brushed out the background. Maybe not the best brushing job, but uh, that's one of the advantages of in-painting. Uh, we don't, we don't ha have to be that exact. I think it sort of figures it out. So I've sort of altered it, children's painting of a spaceship, and then I put with stars and nebula in the background. Okay, so we are now looking at our results. Uh, you could see, for example, in this one, it, it did add maybe some planets in the back. You can see some stars. I personally like the ones where the background is still white, but you can see that it added those details in the style that uh, a child may have done. Um, I this is this was my second attempt. My first attempt had some good ones too, like this one, which I liked, uh, and maybe this one. Although the ones with a dark background aren't that bad either. So, anyways, uh, my closing thoughts for Dali to in painting. Um, I think it. Uh, I think it's a good start. Uh, again, we're looking at the research demo beta. Um, often, I'm finding whatever I brush when I hit submit or generate it doesn't appear to make any difference at all. Now, I'm glad I know about the two techniques that I shared in the video, either changing your prompt or changing the brush size of what you select. Maybe not selecting something so big uh, because that would end up giving it the opportunity to generate something different altogether. However, I, I am just finding in painting is a little bit finicky. It, it does take playing around a lot. Um, and also, you always have to select something with a brush. I understand that's the point of in painting, but I would prefer something, some kind of model that just lets me describe the changes I want made and then it would just make them without me even having to select anything with a brush at all. Um, anyways, yeah, this is, still a, this is still a good start. It's definitely helpful to be able to easily add in or replace objects on the fly. It's cool using previous DALI generations and then editing on top of them. And of course, I'm excited to see where they go with DALI 2 editing and in painting. Um, so anyways, that's it for today's video.